And this is exciting because we don't usually have people come back here. So you're getting a sneak peek at what goes on behind the scenes. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It is, isn't it? It makes me so happy. Hi, I'm Roshni Chakshi. I'm the author of the Arusha and the End of Time series with Rick Riordan Presents. And today we are at the Carlos Museum in Atlanta, Georgia. The Carlos Museum is something that is very, very near and dear to my heart and the home of much of my inspiration. And I'm very excited because today we get to go behind the scenes and look at their South Asian art collection showing us paintings depicting scenes in the Ramayana. When I was in college, I was always writing. I mean, I was on the college newspaper, I was an English major. Some of my favorite classes were actually at the Carlos Museum. Something about walking into the Carlos Museum, getting a deeper understanding of history and of myth, all of it just served to show like what was the point of storytelling. Storytelling makes you feel something. This place is where I was inspired to write the Museum of Ancient Indian Art and Culture. That is the home of Aru and Aru Shah and the End of Time. This is my absolute favorite part. This is the Asian art gallery. This is a statue of Ganesh, one of the Hindu gods and the god of new luck and new beginnings and the remover of obstacles. This is the fierce mother goddess Durga. She is one of the most incredible goddesses in the pantheon. All of the gods gave her their weapons so that she could protect all of them. All right, this is the part I am most excited about. We are gonna head down to the Chamber of Secrets and all things legends and lores and paper and art. So let's go. Okay, so here we are in our works on paper storage. Very exciting. Yes, and this is exciting because we don't usually have people come back here, so you're getting a sneak peek at what goes on behind <laughs> the scenes. I'm so excited. No, like, truly, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. It is, isn't it? It makes me so happy. So this is an episode based on the Ramayana, which is an ancient poem. The god king, Rama, and his brother, Lakshman, and his wife, Sita, are put into exile. They're sent into the forest. It honestly doesn't look that bad if that's where you get to live. Ravana, who's the demon king, really, really wants to grab hold of Sita, Ram's wife. And Ram is like, absolutely not, that's not going to happen. But right up there, there's this golden deer. And it looks really pretty. It is actually an, a demon named Maricha. And his whole job is to lure Sita away. So Sita is staying over here in this fancy ashram. Ram and Lakshman are out finding the golden deer because she was like, oh my God, that thing is so shiny. I must have it. Please give it to me. This sneaky demon, pretty golden demon, actually starts imitating Ram's voice. And he yells, help me, help me. And Lakshman leaves Sita behind thinking that something has happened to his brother. And once she's unprotected, Ravana comes and takes her away. Obviously being pulled by her hair does not look comfortable. All of this is beautiful, but my absolute favorite detail is this character right here. This is Supranika, and her nose has been cut off. She actually approaches Ram and his brother. She finds them both very attractive and says, marry me. And they say, no, we already have wives. Be gone. But instead of just saying be gone, they actually humiliate her by cutting off her nose. Little do they know, Supranaka is the sister of Ravana, the demon king who eventually abducts Sita. In so many stories, Supranaka is treated as this villainous character. And yet I have always felt that the punishment that she got with her nose cut off, it didn't fit the crime. And so many of you readers may actually recognize Supranaka as Lady M, who is this sort of antagonist, or maybe just the anti-hero of Arusha and the Song of Death. Thank you so much for all of this. This was just the coolest experience. I loved it. You're so welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I did. I, I loved the winged horses and the secret waterfalls that you guys didn't get to see, but I got to see, so that was exciting. Not many people do get to Not see Not many this. people get to see mm -hmm. But nevertheless, you should absolutely visit the Carlos Museum in Atlanta. It is a home of treasure. Ha 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 ha!